Hello everyone, thank you for joining on my another live stream today. So this is the 13th of September uh, 2020 on Sunday. So every Sunday I do the uh, uh, weekly Ichimoku market analysis on each pair. And today that's what I do. So hold on, let me get ready everything here. Hold on. Okay, all right. Hi, thank you for joining everyone. Uh, Dinesh, Zoyeb, KB, good to see you. Uh, Femin, Jeroen, thank you for joining as well, good to see you. And Enk, and uh, Karim, uh, Yasar, Melanie, thank you for joining. And uh, Prandar, Shanti, Debrem, WF, thank you for joining as well. And uh, let's see, let me get this uh, chat box on the screen so that I can see these comments real time. All right, there I go. All right. So in Japan right now it's raining. In Tokyo it's raining pretty much uh, all day. So uh, I hope the sky is going to be clear sometime soon. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a better weather sometime, uh, sometime next week, hopefully. So, uh, all right, there we go. So once again, thank you for joining and welcome to my Ichimoku lecture today. So this is weekly analysis. So every Sunday, as it says, every Sunday, I give a weekly Forex forecast on the pairs and commodities and indices. So, um, yeah, let me uh, get this uh, set everything up here. All right, so good to see you. All right, I'm ready now. Sorry about that time. Hi, Mary. Thank you for joining. Ashok, Isaac, uh, Dehard, and Thor, Life, Louis, Yuli. Thank you for joining. Kayon, good to see you. So for those who, who are new to my new to my channel, my name is Kay, and I am a Japanese full time forex trader. Uh, based in Tokyo, Japan, and in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about how to simplify your market analysis, how to be time efficient, and most importantly, how to become a non-losing trader over time. And also, I have been using Ichimoku Kinkohyo for the last five years as one of my main trade strategies, and I have been sharing extensive knowledge from the original books in this YouTube also. And as far as I know, I am the only Japanese trader who teaches Ichimoku Kinkohyo from the original books in English. So hopefully you enjoy my Ichimoku lectures too. And I run the Ichimoku closed community also. So if you're interested, you can click on the join button on YouTube and you're always welcome to join the community. So today's topic is about the weekly forex forecast. So I will go over these pairs and uh, commodities indices and before moving on just to make sure that uh, you know this this content is actually based on my own experience and knowledge so when you take trades please do with your own risk so let's get started euro starting from euro usd um, and we're gonna look at the weekly chart and the daily chart so let me move down a little bit so that you can see all the time frames okay so starting from the weekly chart on this uh euro usd uh last week ended with this uh this is doji candle so this was exactly doji candle stick so when you see doji candle basically we have to wait for the breakout towards either direction so in this case until the price breaks either up or downwards of this doji basically we better wait for that breakout. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the analysis here. So the upper line is a uh, 1.1916, and lower part is 1.1751 level. So either uh, until the market breaks, either way, we have to wait for that.
Okay, and let's move on to the daily chart now. On this daily chart, oops, hold on, let me get this my face here. All right, so on this daily chart, it's been ranging for the last week, and that's why we have Doji candle uh, last week, and um, so it's been in the range for about like one week, and now the price is right in the middle of this range. So the the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So we don't know which way the price is going, and the Chikou span is overlapping with the candles too. So that also means that this is a ranging market. So until it breaks up or downwards, I would wait uh, to look for the further uh, buy or sell chances. So that's Euro USD. And moving on to Euro GBP and weekly chart. Okay, and last week was big, big bearish candle. This was last week was, uh, uh, yeah, 376 pips of a uh, bullish trend last week. So th this is a very, very big bullish candle. So it's uh, the, uh, in a, if you look at the daily chart, uh, right now this looks to be uptrending. The Kumo is very thin. And the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen is overlapping with each other. So this means that there might be some retracement backwards next week. Uh, when you see this thing thread like a Kumo, we have to wait for we have to uh, we have to be careful for this retracement. So in a next Monday or Tuesday, I am expecting I am sorry I am expecting some kind of retracement like this way. So. Uh, yeah, until we see a decent pushback, we have to wait for that. The pushback might be happening at this level, where there was a recent high here. So there's a good chance that the price comes comes down, down to this 0 0.197 area, and it goes upwards this way. Or one of these Fibonacci levels, the price might be bouncing off of these lines. So that's one thing that's important to keep our eyes on. And Euro JPY weekly chart. So Euro JPY weekly chart shows that the uh, Kumo is moving up and Kijun Sen flat. And on this one too, there is a beautiful uh, Doji candle. So basically, uh, we better wait for the breakout towards either direction, up or downwards. And the daily chart shows that this is flat. Kumo flat ranging and Tenkan Kijun Sen is overlapping too. So, and this is, yeah, this is like a, this is completely in the range. Up this level and this level, the price is in the range and the current price is right in the middle of the range. So, we better wait for the breakout towards either direction in this case. <clears throat> and if you look at this forecast lines, let me just delete the latest forecast lines. And we better stick to this uh, previous forecast lines. And uh, right now the price is above the forecast lines. So until this day, until our 17th of September, we have to wait. And if the price ends ab above with these forecast lines, then we can expect that this can be continuous uptrend. So that's something that we have to wait for. Looks like this is uptrending, but we have to wait until the 17th of, uh, of uh, September. Uh, to uh, yeah, next week. All right, hold on. Let me let me uh, yeah get my uh, get some cough. Sorry. All right, sorry about that. I had a little cough, so uh, yeah, I had to pause. But yeah, here is the uh, Euro JPY once again. This is looks like this is a range market. The market itself is flat, 
But because the price is above the forecast lines, we expect that the price continue to go up this way. So we'll see. If that happens next week, at least we have to wait until the 17th of September uh, next week. Alright, and moving on to GBP USD, and starting from the weekly chart, this is a big bearish candle last week. And the price broke the recent low level downwards on this weekly chart. So there's a good chance that the price continue to go down this way. Uh, however, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat completely, so it looks like there is no trend. And overall, it's been up, uh, down. Uh, it's been a ranging market. This basically this is like a you know V wave structure and 100 percent retracement. And now the price is going down. So um, and right now, last week was bearish, but uh, we don't know if this is going to be persistent or not. The price might go up to this uh, to this way. At some point, so uh, based on the weekly chart, uh, there is no there is no like confirmations. And on the daily chart, it this is the price is going towards the single span B now, and uh, but uh, Kumo itself is not really twisted yet. This is still bullish Kumo, so we better wait until the Kumo twist to bearish, and then uh, yeah, and then uh, price breaks the Kumo downwards then we, we can uh, create a scenario of this downtrending. But now, technically, the price is still above the Kumo, so it might be supported by this single span B and go up. So we better wait for these confirmations. I'm sure it's going to happen sometime next week, so let's see if the market is going to be reacted by this single span B or not next week. There's a call span break already. So uh, there's a good chance that the price con con continue to go down this way. But it might be supported by this single span B and go up this way. Because weekly charts show that it's flat. So yeah, technically, this can the downtrend can stop on this single span B here. So that's something that we have to wait for next week. And uh, GBP JPY weekly chart. Alright, GBPJPY weekly chart shows that this is downtrending. Let me just delete this line now. And it's a bearish, big bearish candlestick. And it looks like this is going down too. But uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So um, yeah, uh, there is no like direction of this weekly chart right now. The price can go down or go up. And we don't know which way it's going on this one. <coughs> So let's move on to a daily chart. On this daily chart, uh, the price is very close to single span B now, and uh, but uh, it's not really breaking through yet. And Kumo is not twisted bearish yet. This is still bullish Kumo. So uh, we better wait until uh, the uh, the Kumo twist backwards, and then uh, you know. I think the price breaks the Kumo downwards happens first, and then a Kumo twist will happen next. So even after you see a Kumo breakout, we better wait for the Kumo twist and look for the bearish like signals in lower time frames. So, and last uh, Friday ended up with this uh, Doji candle. This was a Doji candle. So in this case, uh, we better wait for the break towards either direction. If it breaks downwards, then we expect a continuous downtrend, but it might go up to this level. So we'll see what's gonna happen uh, next week on this one. All right, and let's move on to USDJPY. Uh, USDJPY, there is not much to say about it. Uh, it's been ranging P wave within the P wave, and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is going up, but uh, there is no direction to it. Uh, daily charts also show that this is ranging P wave, and the price looks to be breaking uppers. But we'll see what's gonna happen next uh, next week. It might break downwards too because Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat anyways. So, but because there is no volatility on this UHJPY, we better stay away from this currency until we see some decent trends next week. Is my view. And the USDCAD weekly chart, <clears throat> uh, Kumo is flat 
Sen Kospan B flat, Sen Kospan A flat, and Kijun Sen is currently flat too. And Tenkan Sen flat, and there is a Chikospan breakout happening here. And the Kumo breakout was happening uh, two or three three weeks ago. The Kumo breakout was happening here. And last week I was bullish, but because this is overall downtrending, uh, the the price continue might continue to go down. This is in the middle of this uh, reverse end wave now. One second end wave and the third end wave, third reverse end wave can happen uh, sometime next week. So let's take a look at the daily chart. So daily chart, uh, it was bearish trend from uh, last last week all the way up to uh, 2nd of September, it was bearish. But uh, after this 2nd September, it became range. Why well, it was slightly moving up, but it looks like to me this is still retracing, and price is technically below at, at the Kijun Sen here. So there's a good chance that the price continue to go down this way next week. Uh, if it if it goes up, then it can go above up to uh, Senko Span A, and it might reach to Senko Span B. So the bottom line on this uh, USDCAD daily chart is that the uh, if the price goes above this Kijun Sen, then we better not to look for sell. But as long as the price below the Kijun Sen, uh, uh, I would look, still look for the sell chance. So that's uh, USDCAD. Uh, so now, and also now the price is breaking this trend line upwards this way. So the price may have been going down and it might be supported by this descending trend line and go up this way. So we have to we have to uh, you know think this scenario also. And CAD JPY weekly chart and weekly chart flat CAD JPY Kumo flat Kijun Sen flat and the price is gradually going up this way. So there's a good chance that the price continue to go up this way on the weekly chart. But uh, the price uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, so uh, there is no direction at the moment. It, it, the, this might go down to this way too. <clears throat> All right, and moving on to the daily chart, this is flat still. The Kumo flat, Senko Span A is retracing backwards, Senko Span B flat, and Kijun Sen flat right now. And Chiko Span is very close to the candles, so as it consolidates next week, and when Chiko Span get goes into these candles, then we might see that there is a continuous range market. But uh, if the call span does not touch the candles, and if it goes up or this way, which means the current price will go up, up or this way, in that case, we can still expect the continuous uptrend this way. So next week, if uh, if call span touches on this candlestick or not, is the key to look at on this CADJPY daily chart. And moving on to AUDJPY starting from the weekly chart. Uh, right now what we see is that the uh, Kumo is still flat, Senkospan B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen also flat right now. And the price looks to be breaking the recent high upwards and it looks like this is testing this level right now. There is a pin bar like a weak pointing downwards pin bar right now on the last uh, last week so looks looks like there's a there's a support here and the price may continue to go up this way but because kumo flat kijun sen flat it can go down too <clears throat> so to be safer we better wait for the angles of this kuma and kijun sen next week but um because the price looks to be supported by this tenkan sen there's a good chance that the price continue to go up this way, in my view. And the daily chart shows that this is uptrending. This was uptrending, and after this uh, this uh, triangle break, the market tested this level once here on this uh, on this eighth uh, of September and 9th of September. It tested here, and it looks like it's going. It's still flat now. It's already going up. It, this is still flat. So until we see a end wave, until see we we see bullish end wave from here, we better wait 
to look for the buy chance. <clears throat> and technically, Kumo flat right now. Senkospan B is flat, A flat. A is more of retracing backwards. And Kijun Sen is flat too. So there's a good chance that the price go down also. It may go up, go down. We don't know which way it's going because Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So we better wait for the end wave formation next week and then better to look for buy chance. If it becomes like bearish in wave like this way, then uh, it should break the recent low downwards. So we better wait for the Kumo breakout next week. And after the Kumo breakout, I would look to sell. And uh, finally, looking at this AUD USD weekly chart, uh, Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat also. And this, this one looks like the same as a AUD JPY. Uh, currently, uh, last week was a doji candle. So we better wait for the doji break up or downwards next week. Um, yeah, so I just put this, the horizontal line on this level and also down here. And look at the daily chart and see which way it's breaking. So daily charts show that this is still uptrending. This is still bullish in waves. And to me, this is still uptrending like this, bullish in waves. So, and uh, Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen. And also technically, the Chikou Span is still above the candles. So this is bullish to me. So my view is uptrending on this AUD USD daily chart. Uh, Senko Span B is currently moving up too. So when and hold on let's see when kijun sen is moving up that will be a great chance to look for buy and currently kijun sen is flat so i would wait for kijun sen to move up next week and look for buy chance in lower time frames so that's aud usd here all right so that covers my play uh, my watch list on my currency pairs all right, and now let's move on to gold. So gold weekly chart, uh, it's been ranging basically. Uh, there is no trend right now. Uh, Kijun Sen flat, Kumo flat. So basically we better wait for the Kijun Sen or Kumo to be uptrending. Right now it's consolidating within the P wave. So there is no moves in the market. Uh, daily chart also shows that this is in the range. So there is no uh, significance to it. A Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat right now. And Chikou Spine is going through the candles now. So uh, there, there is no direction. Basically, this is in the range. However, if you look at the time cycles, we see something interesting here. Um, time cycle wise, the, the, uh, the lows, interval of the lows are actually 27 or 25, 26 Kihon Suchi numbers. So, um, if the market respects the next 26 days, 26 time cycle after the previous low, that will be uh, here. On th that was on this day, first of September, um, 2020. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it was on this day, but unfortunately, on this day there was no low, so this time cycle is not really working right now. But uh, we have to, we have to focus on this uh, forecast lines now because from the previous high the forecast line was projected uh, towards uh, 11 September 2020 which was uh, last Friday and last Friday the price ended within the forecast lines so in this case what we expect is that the price continue to be in the range for some some more days so until we see a breakout towards either direction up or downwards uh, we better wait for the trade chances up or downwards this way or this way. So, yeah, um, so that's the gold analysis on daily chart. And let's move on to the oil. Uh, WTI oil is currently going down. I have created this uh, uh, forecast lines as well. And now the price is not really reached to this uh, 1st of October yet. So the price might go up and go within the forecast lines or move up across above 
or it actually lands below the forecast lines. We don't know which way the market is going. Um, last week was bearish and it looks like the candlestick broke the Kumo downwards now. And uh, so in this case, we, we expect the market continue to go down this way. So we'll see how the market's going to move until 1st of October, this one. And until then, there's I don't think there is uh, there's not much of moves here. So moving on to indices, uh, indices uh, Nikkei here. Uh, last week daily chart last week was bullish uh, on Friday, but it looks like this is testing this level, um, 23 for for three uh, 430, testing this level kind of. So. Uh, this one looks to be like an ascending triangle for formation and uh, the Tenkan Sen above the Kijun Sen So there's a potential uptrend still this way, but Kumo flat Kijun Sen flat So the price can be resisted on this level and go downwards but uh, it might be supported by this uh, by this um, you know trend line and move move uh, consolidate within this ascending triangle and it can go up this way so we'll see uh, next week and uh, S&P 500 <coughs> daily chart shows that this is now breaking the Kijun Sen downwards so in this case uh, we better wait until the price comes above the Kijun Sen if you're looking for buy chance uh, but uh, if the price continue to go down it can penetrate this Senko Span A and it reaches all the way to Senko Span B. So right now I wouldn't look for any buy or sell chances. Chiko Span is almost breaking the candles downwards too. So if you if you are looking for the sell chance, uh, you better wait until the price breaks the Senko Span B downwards and look for a sell chance. Or the price comes above the Kijun Sen and look for buy chance either way. And let's move to uh, Nasdaq. Nasdaq is also the same, exactly. Like the price is going down, breaking through the Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span is overlapping with the candles now. So if the price, if the Chikou Span breaks the candles, then there's a good chance that the price breaks the Senko Span B downwards too. So in that case, the Kumo should be twisted bearish, and we see a, uh, we, we might see some downtrends. But right now, because the price is in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, uh, basically we better wait. And same as uh, S&P 500, that uh, if the price comes above the Kijun Sen sometime next week, then from there we can look for the buy chance. But right now we better stay away from the currency pair. Uh, I mean this uh, this uh, Nasdaq right now. And Dow Jones is exactly the same too, basically. So this is. Pretty much in the range. I mean, uh, range now. The price was going down uh, last week, and now for the couple of uh, recent days, it's been ranging. And the price also broke the Kijun Sen downwards, and its call span is about to break the candles downwards too. So pretty much the same. Uh, we better wait for the decent up or down trends sometime next week. Okay, and Euro stocks. Uh, this one is consolidating for uh, you know over uh, you know, I think uh, uh, over a month or so, it's been consolidating. And Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, exactly. So we don't know which way it's breaking. It might break upwards. It might break downwards. We don't know which way which way it's going basically by looking at this price action in Kijun Sen and Kumo. So. The good option is that to stay away from this, uh, from this market. So um, yeah, and let's let's take a look at this um, uh, FTSE 100, and this is also ranging too. Kumo is still flat, Kijun Sen flat right now. Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen here, and price is technically below the Kijun Sen, below the Kumo too. So there is a good chance that the price continue to go down this way on this FTSE. Um, yeah, 
So we'll see if that if that happens next week. If the price goes up and breaks the kumo uppers, then uh, you know it might be resisted on this level, and it may continue to be flat for some more days. But if if uh, the market will be resisted on this uh, senko span A or kijun sen and continue to go down this way, breaking at the recent low downwards, then uh, there there might be a continuous bearish trend on towards this way. And uh, DAX index, uh, this is yeah, this is DAX, DAX index. Yeah, it it just happened to on my, on, on on my watch list, but. Uh, yeah, uh, right now Kumo technically is moving up. Uh, Sen Senko span B is moving up, which is quite interesting. Uh, Senko span A flat and Kijun Sen flat, but because Senko span B is moving up, this is this is uptrending. And also on this day of uh, 25th of August, actually the market was above the forecast line on this day, as you can see. So we can expect the continuous uptrend on this market um, uh, right now it's not really a stable uptrend but gradually I expect the market continue to go up this way because Senko Span B is up and currently Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen yeah and moving on to this um, yeah AU200 daily chart Kumo flat Kijun Sen flat so there is no clue as to which way the price is going on this Kumo and Kijun Sen, but if you look at the candles right now, it broke the Kumo downwards now, and Shikou Span is breaking through the candles now, and there was a dead cross of this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, so looks like the market is going down, and continue to go down this way, but uh, the volatility or the trend strength is not really powerful, so. There might be some consolidation along the way and go down gradually to this way. So uh, if to be safer, I would wait for Chikou Span to break the Senko Span B downwards. Then the market is going to be a serious downtrend afterwards. Uh, right now, because this bearish trend is not so strong, uh, the price might be moving up this way and might consolidate for a while. So we'll see on that. The Kumo flat anyways, Kijun Sen flat. So there's a good chance that the price comes above still towards the Kumo. And looking at the Nifty right now, um, this is still, yeah, this is in a range basically. There is no trend right now. Kumo retracing. Kumo is contrasting right now. Senko Span B up, but Senko Span A is down. And currently, the price is right on the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen right now. So, before that, before this big bearish candle day, 31st of August, it was uptrend, no doubt. But after this 31st of August, this looks to be downtrending now. So, this is like the one uh, second end wave, and this might be the third end wave going down this way. So, here again. Uh, because Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, the better option is stay away from the market because uh, it can go down this way. However, uh, if the price continue to, go, continue to go up this way and breaks this recent high upwards this way, then uh, we are good to look for buy chance. Chikou span above the candles too, so this is still buying momentum. But right now, because Kumo and Kijun Sen if to be flat, uh, there is no direction of the market. So it can consolidate for a while, while it's moving up and down, and it might go down, or it might go up. So in this case, to be honest, I'm not really sure which way it's going on this Nifty right now. Okay, and finally, Hansen. Uh, yeah, this looks to be downtrending now. On the bigger scope, this is big bearish end wave to this way. So it looks like it's breaking through the recent low downwards. There was a couple of supports in this level of this uh, a 24, uh, 24 to 70 level. Looks like the price has been supported. And now uh, last week 
there was some support here. So uh, we'll see if the market is continue to go down this way or not. If it does, then we have to wait for the break of this line and continue to look for sell chance afterwards. Otherwise, the price will go up and break in, into the Kumo and it can consolidate for for my for uh, you know more weeks or more weeks or days. Okay, so that's the uh, Hansen and that covers the whole indices now. So let's take a look at some of the market uh, news that will be happening next week. So next week on uh, next week, hold on, let's see the 13th and hold on. It's gonna start from the 14th of September. It's towards the middle of the September now. So uh, in the 14th September on Monday, uh, there will be a uh, vote on Brexit on, in the in the UK. Hold on, let me uh, hide this uh, wipe. Oh, I mean chat, and I will squeeze my wipe a little bit so that you can see the whole thing here. All right, so um, yeah, uh, there will be a, a vote for Brexit uh, next Monday on September 14th in the UK. So we have to keep our eyes on this one. And then uh, Tuesday in the morning time, Asian time, there will be a, a meeting minutes in AUD. And also, uh, yeah, there's a an employment rate in uh, US, uh, UK too, which might impact the market. And moving on to Wednesday, uh, there will be a CPI and uh, GBP and retail sales in the US on Wednesday. And also on um, Thursday, in the morning time, Thursday in Asian time, uh, there will be GDP report on New Zealand and also an un unemployment rate in uh, AUD. And also there will be a monetary policy in, J J in Japan too on Thursday. And also there will be another uh, monetary policy and in pound on Thursday too. So Thursday looks to be an X day for next week. And moving on to Friday, there will be retail sales in Canada and Michigan consumer sentiment uh, in, in the US. So just to uh, wrap up uh, this one on, we have to keep our eyes on this uh, vote on Brexit on Monday, on the 14th next day. And then on Thursday, there are a lot of news. So we have to uh, keep our eyes on that Thursday too. So, yep, that's pretty much it for this, uh, the whole next week forecast. So for me, I would keep my eyes on the trending pairs. So among these pairs that I take trades, Euro GBP uh, looks to be uptrending on the daily chart. So I would uh, I would wait uh, look for buy chance. But like I said before, Euro GBP daily chart shows that this thin part of the Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen completely overlapping while it's uptrending. So I expect the retracement sometime next week, and then uh, we have to uh, there there must be some retracement. So that's something that I'll be waiting for next week on this Euro GBP. And also GBP USD is downtrending, so I would be looking for the sell chance on this one. But I w I will wait until Kumo twist backwards. I will wait for the Kumo twist backwards, and then look for the sell chance next week. And then GBP JPY also is downtrending, so this is another one that I look for the sell chance. So basically these three pairs: Euro GBP, GBP USD, GBP JPY. I will be looking at them uh, on Monday. Okay, so let me come back to some of the comments now. All right, once again, thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. All right, let's see. Yep, Dean, Anthony, thank you for joining. Good to see you.
All right. So let's see. Yeah, actually, these are the pairs that I take trades on my watch list. So uh, my my focus is actually on these pairs, on forex pairs. Okay. So let's see. So yeah, I've covered uh, US 30, US 500. Yeah, Nasdaq, I've covered these. Yep, I, I covered Nikkei also. All right. Hi, Knight. I'm Knight Fury. Thank you for joining. To see you. All right, GPPUSD, I've covered it too. Focus lines on GPPUSD. Um, yeah, you can draw the focus lines on GPPUSD too and also GBPJPY also. But obviously, this is down, right? This is all the way down from that uh, forecast lines. So if if I start to see the retracement, then I will draw. But now I don't draw because for now, this is, you know, all the way below the forecast lines anyways. Hi, Fabio. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't look at the copper. Yeah, I only look at the gold and US oil, WTI, on my watch list. Yeah, and uh, I will cover these other currency pairs or commodities at some, t some other time. But today, uh, the forecast is going to be on, 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 the, on the market that are on my watch list. All right, Gabriel. Thank you for joining. To see you. Your analysis on oil and gold using Ichimoku has helped a lot. Sure, that's great to hear. Great to hear. Yeah, basically gold is ranging. So once again, let me explain the gold. Right to me, uh, I haven't taken any trades on gold uh, for since uh, since this day, sixth uh, of August, because after this, the market retraced backwards. And now it's ranging. So, yeah, when it's ranging, you better stay away, basically, because there's no trend. And that's that's a nice thing about Ichimoku is that the uh, you know uh, you know exactly where you need to look at the market, when you need to stay away. At a glance, you you can uh, you can tell um, whether you want to take trades or not. And I think that's the beauty about this Ichimoku. All right. Yep, Anne, you're welcome. Good to see you. All right, Roy James, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Fed meeting on Wednesday. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's big news also. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Yep. Looks like turbulent week, turbulent week for GBP. Yeah, GPP has been quite rough these days, and there is a vote on Brexit GPP next week, and lots of news related to GPP next week also. So to be safer, um, you better not to look at, you better not to take trades GPP pairs, especially when the reports are coming close. We better stay away. So what I usually do is that the uh, I am I will be keep my eyes on this GPP USD and GPP JPY. But uh, if there's any news, if I have a position, and if I have a break even, then I will go through the news. But if I don't see the break even yet, then I will close it, and I will come back to chart after the news. So um, yeah, so always make sure make sure that you know when the news will come, what time the news will come on that day. And better to stay away from the market if you are not really, you know, putting the break-even line yet. But if you put the break-even, then, you know, and if you put the break-even and the price goes upwards, let's say, then you get more profit. Like it's, it's like a, you get more like bonuses. Or if it goes backwards, you just get lost cut, break-even. So I think it's okay. But uh, if you if you don't have any stop losses, or uh, if your stop loss is still not moved to break even, then we better stay away from the market because most likely 
him, you know, uh, when the market spikes down at that time, uh, you will, you know, your position will be taken away. So it's better to uh, better to come back to the chart always after the news, unless you you set the break even line, in my opinion. All right, let's see. Hi, Decrypto. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you. Stay gold. I appreciate your support. Thank you. GPP AUD. Um, I haven't. I don't. Um, it's it's not my watch list. So please remind me later, uh, sometime next week. Then uh, I will talk about it. Yeah. Today, sorry. Today, uh, in my weekly forex forecast, I want to stick to these pairs and commodities and indices because uh, if I start to you know analyze all other pairs then the topics may be vary so uh, but what I'm saying basically is pretty much universal so you can apply in your own analysis and that is my goal for this YouTube channel to be able to analyze market by yourself so yeah Please, uh, please take a look at it, and if you if it st still doesn't make sense, then please come back to me sometime next week, in in the uh, in the uh, in the middle of the week. All right, thank you for joining. To see you. All right, Kion, thank you for your re reminder as always. If you liked today's live, please press a good button. Thank you. All right. Hi, Michael. Thank you for joining. To see you from Jakarta. To see you. All right. Oh, dear crypto. Thank you for joining the Ichimoku community. Thank you. Along with the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So make sure to access to the community tab on YouTube, and you must be able to find the link to join the Discord. So yeah, I will be I will be waiting for you within the Discord. So. Yeah, once again, thank you. Stay gold, Decrypto. All right, Young, thank you for joining from Italy to see you. Yeah, it's so nice to see traders from all over the world who are interested in Ichimoku or the way I analyze the charts. It's very nice. All right. GBP on monthly is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite rough these days okay so I guess I will be ending the live for now so all right uh, so tomorrow um, I haven't come up with uh, what I will be talking about tomorrow but uh, I will let you know for sure I will run the Frex tester for tomorrow and present one of my trade strategies and you will see what I've been talking about in a reminder so uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do the, do the new live every day all right so yeah that's pretty much it for today's live I hope you liked it and I hope you uh, keep joining uh, every day so that you get you know, learn, you get to learn Ichimoku and also the way I take trades. So, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day, rest of your weekend, and yeah, stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.